keynote address by Dr. Mohana Majumdar, and uh, its title is Access Audit and Accredited for Quality and Patient Safety. Afterwards, we'll start our NABS talks. Thank you. Uh, one and all, uh, at the outset, I would thank um, AIOS and Dr. Gagan for including me in this uh, session. Well, I uh, take care of the quality assurance cell, that is IQAC, in a medical college in Nagpur. And um, um, actually, uh, yes, even medical colleges now, uh, it has become essential for them to uh, undergo accreditation. So there's NMC as well as NAC now. So what is accreditation? It is a public recognition or a stamp. So you can use their logo once you have demonstrated uh, to the external uh, assessors that you have a particular level of performance uh, or a standard in your healthcare practices. So life keeps testing us and uh, even at this stage, we have to pass this test uh, in our uh, MBBS, uh, we actually, we take a pledge, uh, which is the Hippocratic Oath. Now they are going to uh, change it into this Ma Maharishi Charak Shapat, uh, where we vow that patient safety is of utmost importance and that all our energies uh, is going to be focused on curing the disease. NABH aims for the same, but WHO says that one in three people report negative experience of their healthcare system, such as disrespectful care, short consultations, or long waiting times. So we are kind of losing trust in our patients. This could be because of the negligence of a, a handful of doctors, but the patient-doctor um, relationship is going down. To the extent that uh, the patient's relatives are assaulting the doctors, this is an incident uh, just happened a couple of years back in uh, Dhule Civil Hospital where an orthopedic surgeon uh, was assaulted. He had multiple orbital fractures. So what can we do? Either we take self-defense classes, which I'm telling you is also important. In fact, in medical colleges, we now have lectures on self-defense for the doctors. But most important, we can actually improve and work on the improvement of quality of healthcare so that uh, the doctor-patient relationship improves. So what is quality of care? It is the degree to which health services for individuals and populations increase the likelihood of desired health outcomes. So for ophthalmologists, it's obviously giving 6-6 vision. Uh, and so it should be effective, safe, and people or patient-centered. So with this in mind, uh, the government of India pioneered in um, a venture and established the Quality Council of India and NAB, uh, so that they can maintain the ecosystem of healthcare. And NABH is a constituent board or one of the uh, constituents of the Quality Council of India. It is uh, an institutional member of the ISQA. It is a member of the Accreditation Council of ISQA, and it is on board of Asian Society for Quality in Healthcare. So of course it has the accreditation committee and it has a, a strong technical committee because we have to apply online. All our um, documents are to be uploaded uh, through the um, online process. So they have a strong committee there. And they have the administration where there, has, uh, there is an assessor management committee, the risk management and improvement committee, the complaints committee, and a panel of assessors. So two important benefits I've already uh, mentioned, that is to improve the trust in the patient and to actually improve the quality of patient um, care. And of course, uh, it creates a roadmap for standardization. So there are three levels. So every time you can improve your level, then it improves the patient satisfaction levels and it creates awareness in the, uh, the, about the rights in the patients in the right way and not through Google. 
then it provides for continuous learning, good working environment. It also leads to uh, leadership qualities and it improves the or it enhances the career of the uh, team that is working for NABH. It provides an objective system of empanelment by insurance and other third parties. So this is extremely important. Um, for example, CGHS, it is, it is uh, essential. And in fact, uh, in our medical college, it is the, uh, as per the um, NABH, we get the amount, uh, the reimbursement. And of course, as I said, you can put a stamp or the logo. And once that logo is seen on your website or any other social media platform, it helps in enhancing medical tourism. So any, any clinic uh, or any hospital can apply, irrespective of the size. You have to visit the website and get yourself registered and then follow the guidelines. Uh, the fees for eye care organization, it depends on the number of surgeries performed. So more than 10,000 surgeries, then the fee uh, annual fee is uh, say 2,28,000 uh, plus GST per year. So. Uh, how do you go about it? Uh, you can uh, go to their website and uh, download the manual, uh, which is seen here, or you can buy the manual online. Uh, it costs about 1,500 rupees. And then after that, go through it. There are 10 chapters and there are objective elements. Uh, you have to fulfill this, those elements to get the marks. Uh, once you've gone through that book, you identify your gap, do the gap analysis of your hospital, and then uh, you fill in those gaps and only then do the application. Then you pay the fee and then you are given dates and names of the assessors, coordinate with them and uh, un undergo the assessment. Uh, of course, then you either, pa no, actually, then uh, they give you a chance. They uh, tell you what gaps they have found out and then they give you a chance to uh, kind of rectify those gaps, that is called NCs, and once you have covered those NCs, then you can be accredited. So there are 10 chapters. I think uh, the speakers will be speaking on the, um, elaborating these chapters, but just to rush through, uh, the first chapter is access, assessment, and continuity of care. That is from the time the patient walks in to the time of discharge and follow up. All, whatever has to be done is comes under this chapter. Then there is a chapter on care of patients which deals with the emergencies and the anesthesia guidelines. Then management of medication, how your prescription should be, who should be writing. I think the details will be discussed yes, by this way. So I won't go into all this. Um, and then there are some organization uh, centered uh, standards. So these also have to be fulfilled. Now, I just want to uh, add, uh, this is not yet there in the ophthalm manual, but it will soon come because this is there for the general hospitals who, are, who run multi-speciality. And uh, so now they have divided the objective elements into uh, core, commitment, achievement, and excellence. They have categorized each element. And so the core means the basic. The commitment is something little more that we are going to fulfill. And achievement means over and above what is required. Like for example, if you have the latest technology, then uh, you can mention that in uh, your achievement elements. And excellence is what are your best practices. Like for example, if you have an antibiotic, a program running on antibiotic stewardship, uh, so that is your best practice in your hospital. So if you have a microbiologist, a pharmacist, taking care of uh, the antibiotic use, then you have fulfilled even the uh, objectives which uh, show that there is excellent uh, patient care in your hospital. So I'll just skip these. And uh, uh, so uh, there are various workshops that go on. You can get the details on their website, attend them, get accredited. And once you're accredited, you can start calling up your friends and putting it up on WhatsApp that finally you're there. Thank you.